So we've just started trying to release. We're just waiting for Ellie or Mrs. Gold to pick her baby up first. It's a big day today for Goliath's baby. We have uh, one down with a purple right arm, um, Mrs. Gods and Rowan that is all purple on his right leg. On the floor it's Nugget and Rowan. Nugget is purple on his left leg and Mrs. Uh, Bluebell is uh, purple on her back. Hey, Bluebell! Yes! Yeah. Are you ready to f find your new family? Hmm? Oh, she's busy! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she was like, get away. She's like, I need to leave. I'm not taking you. Mm -hmm. Well, Rowan's oh. on Nugget, so Rowan's taking Nugget out. <laughs> Nugget's yeah. taking Rowan out. Okay. Well, just open the door otherwise. Yeah. There's so much energy in this cage. Everyone's excited. Didn't you see Mrs. Gold Fifty? Baby, well done. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I, just, I just opened it. Hey, are we from Jellica? Yeah, yes. Yeah, I can't do more. That's the biggest. Oh, Mark, be more scary. Oh, Eddie is on the way. Oh, <gasps> good. Ellie beat Rowan. Yep. Yep. Yes. Aha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ellie get the ball. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yes. Aha. Who is it? Ellie. Ah. <laughs> oh, she's got nugget. Is she? Nugget. It's nugget, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Angelica's like, this is great, guys. <laughs> I know, I can't get his face oh, even up here. Wow. Oh, yeah. 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 That's a great baby. <laughs> Come on, Angela, get me don't have a baby. I think you can just let Angela go out again. Okay.
so it's a little hard to see them here but you can see this monkey at the front is Aurora and she is uh, sticking up for Ellie and Nugget and uh, keeping all the other monkeys away so they're quite deep, I'm zoomed in quite far but you can see Nugget on the right and held by Ellie and this is Aurora telling everybody else to stay clear oh and this is Mrs. Gold wait this is Ellie actually so it must be Mrs. Gold on the right quite hard to see the socializing and of course eating in the troop is one of the most important factors uh, for these little ones just to make sure they're getting on with everybody um, everybody's behaving with them and uh, they sort of accept it as you can see it's doing pretty well at the moment we have Nugget and we have Helly, Grover and Mum just over here so Mum is going to smell Nugget. Mum was born in the troop to Hartley in 2009. Uh, she's fairly high ranking but very scared of people. Grover, for those of you who still remember from last year, he was brought in by uh, the um, wildlife vets. Um, mother was shot and he was fostered by Mrs. Gold and then by Dad and Bliss uh, once in the troop. So it is truly very hard to see who's actually going to end up being uh, the foster mums for the little ones. As I say, the introduction is just one thing. Mrs. Gold uh, and Nugget them are very good at getting the little ones out into the troop, um, getting them united with everybody else. And uh, then you might find the little ones are basically attracted to some other mother or one of the mothers that are scared to go into the intro cages, but really looking for a little one uh, possibly can take over. So this does uh, happen fairly fairly regularly and uh, sometimes I think it is a good adjustment for the little ones because it is quite, uh, Mrs. Gold is getting on in years so to look after them all the time is one thing but using her as uh, introduction foster mom is brilliant, she knows what she's doing I think in some instances she enjoys uh, filling kind of that part uh, it's like you can have a little baby while they're at the best stage and as they start getting naughty, you can hand them on to some other mom and say, hey, you take over now. So uh, I think she just has the great part in the beginning uh, where they are very reliant on her. But after that, she sort of moves them on and says, OK, it's time for you to find somebody else to play with. <laughs> just watching the antics of the other troop members um, who are also trying to take uh, uh, interested in the little ones but the little ones still interested in the in the mom that it's got at the moment uh, so this has to be Nugget and Ellie um, if you remember the right leg is the one that's coloured in uh, so that's how it's making it easy to identify and of course we know the mom's Ellie and she's still holding on to her uh, little Nugget uh, as dearly as she can so she's not ready to to let him go with anyone else The get an Ellie. So they're very interested at the moment in sunflower seeds. Uh, so we've added sunflower seeds to the diet as well as some sprouted lentils, which these monkeys really and truly love. Uh, and as you can see, it's helping quite a bit with the foraging behavior as they sort of scratch through everything, looking for the little seeds and things like this that they find. And also in the areas where you're finding the, the food, there's little bugs and insects and things that help decompose it. And of course, those are um, tasty little morsels for the monkeys as well, which they really and truly enjoy. Just a 
there's not much water in there at all, look. Yeah. No. There's nothing that... She didn't feel it. It's not possible. Huh? They didn't feel it. It's not possible. No. It's like half a mom, half a thing. Oh. So a lot of what's done on the first day is basically observation and just making sure um, everything goes down quite well and that there's no fighting or arguing within the troop which is very very important. So at the moment this is the team uh, watching Nugget and Ellie and just seeing what little antics um, little Nugget's basically getting up to um, as she sort of familiarizes herself. Uh, with the enclosure, which is actually quite amazing. You can see she's already quite a distance from her mom, uh, climbing around in the trees, looking at what's going on in the surroundings, uh, which is which is fantastic. We have Ellie with Nugget. Little Sophie also doing very well in the troop at the moment. If you remember, she came in uh, last year, was confiscated by the SPCA, also fostered by Mrs. Gold. And uh, she has a kind of a little grumpy expression on her face. But it's just so nice to see these little ones also interacting with the new orphans that have come in uh, just as they would uh, out in the wild. So really nice to see they're all getting on so well. Little Nugget really enjoying the trees and the height and climbing up and exploring uh, around there with her mom not too far away. Ellie's been very, very protective of her, but uh, it's uh, just so nice to see how she's getting around. Very, very confident little monkey. Uh, so also something very, very nice to see at the moment. I know the, uh, the monkey I learned the most here was with Dustin. So do you yeah. imagine? Oh yes, very good. Just a bit of chatter about previous integration staff and how many of the little ones are actually integrated in. So the most were actually done by Dustin previously. We'll see how it goes this year. Oh, I love when they are starting to play. Mm. Ellie's like, where are you going from? <laughs> Come back. Where are you going? <laughs> have Rowan having a nice breakfast. It's almost six in the morning and he just come out with his mom, uh, Mrs. Gold. So little Rowan doesn't seem to be as venturous as um, what Nugget is. Doesn't stay a lot closer to, to Mrs. Gold. Uh, Mrs. Gold is of course very protective um, of little Rowan, but uh, they seem to be doing very well. He's out here eating and foraging, which is very nice. You can see the little pouches that he's filling up on the side. 
So this is something like the monkeys do. So they fill the little pouches up. So they've got something to eat later if they have to run away or move away from the feeding area. They've still got food to eat. Rowan in Mrs. Gold. You also have Mirabel coming in. Ooh, how do you recognize her? Uh, so Mirabel has pink and rice. Very easy. She's the oh. only one. So Marabella arrived in 2015 with a very, very bad case of pneumonia. So it's great to see how she's pulled through and how well uh, she's actually doing. She was actually fostered by a shorty who's passed on. But you can see Marabella's got sort of a light scruffy coat and uh, very distinguished patchy white silhouette underneath her eyes. We have Rowan and Mrs. Gold. I think uh, little Rowan has stood in something, on something, or with something in his little foot uh, that keeps on bothering him. We have Rowan, Mrs. Golds, and Digits on the back. Digit uh, was born in 2014. Uh, found stuck on a fence uh, for a couple of hours before she was rescued. Um, she doesn't like going into an intra cage. But she's a fantastic mom uh, when the babies are basically back outside. This is Rowan with Mrs. Gold. And that was Slinky on the front right, but she's walked off so Rowan just enjoying some sunflower seeds which we've just thrown into the troop a big fan favorite with the monkeys it's good enrichment because they have to search for it through the grass and stuff all the seeds also good nutrition Slinky arrived in 2004 uh, at 8 months old quite abused was the mother of Pepsi, Dad and Bliss, and fostered Pippin. Rowan and Mrs. Golds. And Lottie on the back. Lottie arrived in uh, 2021, uh, was found with the mother under caravan, her mother passed away overnight. We assumed her mom was uh, bitten by a snake and lucky some caring people found her and got into contact with us. Uh, she has got very distinct, distinctive patchy silhouettes underneath her, her eyes. This is also a good f time for the team basically to get to know the troop a lot better. So as you're monitoring the little ones and seeing how things are going, uh, you get used to the other ones coming up, uh, checking that you've got their names and everything right. Uh, so it all does help um, later on just knowing who's who um, in the troops that you're basically working with. Because at the moment we'll have two parties looking after or watching each different uh, orphan that's in there at the moment so somebody will be with Nugget and somebody will be looking after the Rowan side. We have Rowan and Mrs. Gold. So he just be scared by a bird. Mrs. Gold is eating a marula which is one of the indigenous fruit of the area. All the monkeys seem to, to like it and uh, poor little Rowan is just getting used to everything around in this big enclosure. Of course when a bird flew over that just gave him uh, a little bit of a fright 
um, to put him in his place. But of course, right there behind Mom, uh, you can see how uh, well Mrs. Gold is actually doing everything, just leading them around. So little Rowan's uh, eventually started to explore a little bit more, getting away a little bit from mum, and he just found him uh, found himself a lovely little sweet potato. Of course, monkeys really love uh, these sweet potatoes and enjoy eating them. This is Rowan with Mrs. Gold and that was Slinky on the front right but she's walked off so Rowan just enjoying some sunflower seeds which we've just thrown into the troop. A big fan favourite with the monkeys. It's good enrichment because they have to search for it through the grass and stuff, all the seeds. Also good nutrition. So Nugget is on the tree. After a big drink in the feeding cage too, he just had 55 meals of milk. So of course you always get that mischievous juvenile coming up just to see what mischief and nonsense they can cause but it uh, doesn't seem like little Nugget is willing to take any chances or play along at all. I guess that's Ellie. Do you look at her Ellie? Maybe not. Maybe Ellie She has a lot of ink on the inside of her leg. Oh no, here is Ellie here. She's pretending she was eating some marulas. Like this little... Girl or boy. Oh, there goes Nugget also wants Marula. Well, he has a little good sign, a little one bypassing mom, going straight to the feeding cage. Of course, yeah, mom uh, being very defensive, trying to grab the little one by the tail. The little one saying, no, I haven't had anything to drink yet. It's my chance uh, to get refueled before uh, we go back out there. So mom's just got to wait patiently making sure we keep the volunteers away from the cage while the little one basically uh, fills himself up or herself up ready to go back out um, and have a good adventure with mom again. <laughs> Early with one maruna in each hand. So that's little Grover rushing over to the feeding cage. Now last no, year he would good. have been able to fit in there and was one of the <laughs> getting fed. So he's just trying his luck again. It it's just amazing Aww. how quickly these little ones actually Look grow. Good. But uh, we have, it's also quite tricky just making sure that that entrance is small enough that he can't actually fit in there and go and pinch the milk 
of this year's little orphans. But uh, yeah, he knows very well Thirsty what's inside there and how it tastes. Just on the final milk round of the day, and I've just come across Rowan in Goliath Troop. The boys were released um, earlier on in the week, um, on Monday, and it is now Saturday. Um, so here Rowan is with Miss Gold, and both babies are doing really well. Nugget um, is around somewhere with Ellie. Uh, Bluebell and Wanda are still in the intracage um, with Maisie and Tumbles. Overall, both boys are doing well. Rowan isn't drinking um, as much as we'd like. However, he is eating lots and he still looks healthy at the moment. He's quite a big boy. So we're just going to still continue to progress that and um, see if we can get him into the intracage if we need to get him um, any milk from that perspective. He's just eating some papaya right now. Banana. This is Nugget with Ali. Just seeing them all as part of a little family is really and truly amazing. It's just so nice to sit and watch and see these guys clambering through the trees and really doing so well. Don't know if any of you will recognize Jerusalem was uh, the star of the Dodo, the comeback kids. Born in 2017, arrived as an orphan. Mother was uh, hit by and killed by a car and uh, Jerusalem suffered a broken left foot. Well, I hope you enjoyed it so far. That's Rowan and Little Nugget. Both got foster moms out into the main enclosure meeting other monkeys and starting to make their new life. We're having a little bit of trouble with Bluebell and Wanda. Uh, they haven't been accepted too well by the moms. I think Bluebell's a little bit too confident. So uh, we are considering moving them to the H&B enclosure and seeing if we can do an introduction down there. But we'll know more next week. So thank you everybody for watching, for joining us, participating, contributing. We love you all. See you next week. Jerusalem.